Hey guys, welcome to Initiate Science Yeah, where science meets you. Be cool, comfortably watch our videos and all the best for your upcoming exams. Stay safe and be healthy. Uniform Circular Motion When a particle moves with a constant speed in a circular path, its motion is said to be uniform circular motion. In such a motion, a particle travels equal distances along the circular path in equal intervals of time. So the speed of particle is uniform but the direction of motion of the particle changes at each point of the circular path. The continuous change in the direction of motion implies that the velocity of the particle is non-uniform or variable. That is, the motion is accelerated. Direction of velocity at any instance in a circular path. Here, the figure shows a particle moving in a circular path in a horizontal plane with uniform speed v in an anticlockwise direction. The particle travels each quarter of circle a, b, b, c, c, d and d a in the same interval of time t equal to t by 4 where capital T is the time taken by the particle to complete one round of the circular path. Thus, the speed of particle is constant or uniform, but the direction of motion of the particle is different at different points of uh, the circular path. At any point, the direction of motion is also along the tangent drawn at that point of the circular path. At the point A, the direction of motion of the particle is towards north. After completing the quarter of a circle at the point B, the direction of motion of the particle is towards west. After completing half circle at the point C, the direction of motion of the particle is towards south. And after completing the three quarters of the circle when the particle is at point D, its direction of motion is towards east. Thus, the velocity of the particle in circular motion is variable. Or circular motion is an accelerated motion even though the speed of the particle is uniform. Difference between uniform circular motion and uniform linear motion. In uniform linear motion, the speed and velocity both are constant and acceleration is zero. That is, uniform linear motion is an unaccelerated motion while in a uniform circular motion, the velocity is variable. Also, the speed is uniform, so it is an accelerated motion. Centripetal and centrifugal force. Centripetal force. We have read that a force is needed to change the direction of motion of a particle. A particle moving in a circular path continuously changes its direction of motion at each point of its path. This change in direction of motion cannot be brought without a force. Thus, the motion in circular path is possible only under the influence of a force, which is termed as centripetal force. At each point of the circular path, the force is directed towards the center of the circle as shown in the figure over here 1.44. Thus, the direction of force and also of acceleration changes, changes at each point of the circular path, but its magnitude remains the same. That is, acceleration is variable or non-uniform. Hence, for a body moving in a circular path, a force is needed which acts as a centripetal force. Thus, centripetal force is the force acting on a body moving in a circular path in a direction towards the center of the circular path. Examples In an atom, an electron moves around the nucleus in a circular path for which the required centripetal force is obtained from the electrostatic force of attraction on the negatively charged electron by the positively charged nucleus. A planet moves around the sun in an elliptical path for which the gravitational force of attraction on the planet by the sun provides the necessary centripetal force. Moon moves around the earth in an elliptical path for which the gravitational force of attraction on moon by earth provides the required centripetal force. When a stone tied at the end of a string is whirled in a circular path holding its other end in the hand, the tension in the string provides the centripetal force. In the absence of this force, that is tension, the stone will not move in a circular path. In all the above examples, the body moves in a circular path with a uniform speed under the influence of a centripetal force and it is in a state of dynamic equilibrium. Centrifugal force A force assumed by an observer moving with the body to be acting on the body in a direction away from the center of circular path is centrifugal force. Thus, centrifugal force is in a direction opposite to the direction of centripetal force. Its magnitude is the same as that of the centripetal force but the centrifugal force is not the force of reaction of the centripetal force because action and reaction do not act on the same body. It is not a real force but it is a fictitious force assumed by an observer moving in a circular path along with the body. To understand this force, consider the following experiment.
uh, in the figure 1.45 shows a ball tied at one end of a string, the other end of which is tied at the center of a merry-go-round. Initially, when the platform of merry-go-round is stationary, the ball is seen stationary and the string is loose. As the platform starts rotating, the ball rolls towards the edge of the merry-go-round and the string becomes tight due to tension T developed in it. Let us consider that the motion of the ball is observed by two persons standing outside the merry-go-round on the ground at M, that is over here, and then standing on the platform of the merry-go-round at A. The person standing on the ground at M outside the merry-go-round observes that the ball, uh, yeah, the ball is moving in a circular path shown by shown by dotted line. While the person standing on the merry-go-round at A observes that the ball is stationary, placed just in front of him at P. As the merry-go-round rotates, the position of the person on the platform changes from A to A dash, A double dash, A triple dash, and so on. See A, A dash, A double dash, A triple dash, and so on. And the ball reaches at the position P dash, P double dash, P triple dash, as you can see here. Respectively, as if it remains at rest, always just in front of him. The different observations of the same motion of the two persons at M and A are explained as follows. Explanation. For the person at M, the ball moves in a circular path because the tension T in the string provides the centripetal force needed for circular motion. The per person at A observes the ball as stationary. He considers the following two forces to be acting on the ball in order to understand his observation. The tension T of the string towards the center of merry-go-round and the centrifugal force away from the center. The above two forces are equal and opposite. Therefore, the net force on the ball is zero. Hence, it, is, it always remains stationary in front of him. Thus, a person on the rotating platform can explain his observation only when he considers the centrifugal force along with the force of tension in the string. Case if the string breaks when the ball is in position P as shown in the figure 1.46, then the force of tension T in the string ceases to act. Now, the person at M standing on the ground will observe that the ball is moving in a straight line along with the path PT, that is the tangent drawn at the point P on the circular path PT. Okay. While the person at A uh, standing on the merry-go-round will observe the ball at the positions P dash, P double dash, P triple dash, P, P dash, P double dash, P triple dash, uh, when he will be at the positions A dash, A double dash, A triple dash, respectively. That is, he will observe that the ball always remains in front of him, moving radially away from him. He attributes this motion to centrifugal force acting on the ball away from the center. Thus, the person in a rotating frame here merry-go-round has to assume the presence of centrifugal force. So, conclusion. The, centri the centrifugal force is not a real force. It is a fictitious force. The only real force involved here is the force of tension in the string acting towards the center. That is the centripetal force, a force which really does not exist but is considered to describe or understand a certain motion is called a fictitious force or a virtual force. Hit the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get instant updates of the video that we post.